Okay, so in the last video, I left this off sort of doing a like, sort of eyeing where the object is in the center of another object. So there's more precise ways to do this. One that I tend to use a lot is the align function. So I only have one object selected right now. I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I hit both. So it aligns both of them. I'm just going to do translate only. And I'm going to hit accept. So if this aligned these two objects to a certain point in Mesh Mixer um, to a chosen plane. What did not do, however, is align the two objects themselves. So I'm going to do that again using the align tool. Um, again, aligning it to a certain plane in Mesh Mixer. Um, I'm going to hit accept and I'm doing these objects individually. So they both are aligned to the center. Ideally, then aligning these two objects themselves. So I'm centering and I'm zooming in. What I'm going to do is, since this is sort of a weird view and this is considered the top, I'm going to transform this object down. Okay. Again, we're accepting, centering, readjusting. So now that is a bit more precise way. So now I can precisely say that these two objects are aligned in the center. And this disc here is going to serve as the lip for the belt to attach. So what I'm going to do is a Boolean union. Not red, so we're good. Hitting accept, boom, one object. Now I'm re-making re the grid visible once again. Um, invisible again because that was too hard to see. So I'm going to edit this, transform, move it up a little bit, make this visible. There we go. And now what I need to do is align this object onto a certain point, align the now uh, rename is attachment. Going to align this on sort of an arbitrary point on the base. So I'm just eyeballing it right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to the edge here to where we can just start to see it peek out. So I'm going to consider this the starting point. I'm going to change the scaling to one. I'm considering that this is now at the edge of the base. And I'm going to move it three millimeters in.
And what I did there was I hit the front to sort of give me this perpendicular orthogonal view, recentered the cursor, and then zoomed in. Um, I'm doing all the zooming by using the scroll wheel on the mouse. Um, if you're using a trackpad on an iPad or a MacBook or another laptop, is either uh, the same way you would scroll on a web page, whatever function you have that set as. And I'm going to move this over this way. And this is going to be the set point for this belt. Except what I will do is I will copy it in four separate locations. 